Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms chapter 7 verse 17, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, and James chapter 3 verse 11. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God. We bless your name. We give you all the glory. Lord God, have your way in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, um, Psalms chapter 7, verse 17, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the Most High. All right, and so this is just letting us know that we need to give thanks to the Lord, right? As we approach him, as we approach his throne of grace, um, which is actually talking about the next verse that he gave us. Um, we need to be thankful, right? We're not just approaching any king of the earth. We're approaching the king of kings and the Lord of lords, right? We need to enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, right? Be thankful unto him and bless his name. So it says, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness. So God is a right God. He is a righteous God. He is a God that is just. He is a God that is good. And it, it, yeah, he just happened to also be the king of kings. So we need to approach him in a way that is thankful. I'm going to go ahead and read the, the second verse. Hebrews 4, 16, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So as we're approaching this throne that he has given us access to, and he, we're approaching it with confidence, we also need to enter into his presence with thanksgiving. It's due to him. It's due to his righteousness, right? He's a good God. He's a just God, right? Aren't you glad that the God and the king that you serve is a righteous God? He's not just like a tyrant or any other king that is just, you know, on the earth. He is a good God. He is a just God. And so it says, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness and I will will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the Most High. All right, it says, and I will sing praise. So what what is that about? Well, we need to give praise to God, right? To the name of the Lord, the Most High. He is the Most High God. We need to sing praise. We need to let the fruit of our lips be apparent, we need to come in with thanksgiving, with praise. He, it's due to him. It's due to him. He's worthy. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. It says, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness. Are you giving him what's due to him? Right? Are you being just? That's what justice is about, being just. Giving someone their just due. God is just. Do, due to his righteousness, we need to give him that thanks that's due to him, right? And so it says, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the Most High. So we need to sing praise to him. We need to give thanks to him as we approach this throne with confidence. He's given us the confidence, right? He's given us what it is that we need. Um, he's blessed us with the ability to approach, right? And not just approach any old way. We don't have to approach crawling on our knees. We can approach him as our father. We can approach him knowing that he's not going to strike us down. We can approach him knowing that he is merciful when we come. Right, it says, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. So he's giving us something that we don't deserve. 
He's giving us a blessing. He's giving us a gift, an unmerited favor. And then it says that we may receive mercy. So when we come, we don't get that strike down because of the righteousness that he has, that he has imparted to us. When we come to that throne, we can receive mercy and find grace, right? What does it mean to have to find that grace? We're going to find what it is that we need. We're going to be able to come to him and he's going to bless us. He's going to give us help in the time of need. Amen. All right. And so the third um, verse that the Lord gave me was James chapter three, verse 11. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and salt water? All right. So if we are connected to God, that fruit of our lips, that thanks and that that praise is going to spill forth naturally. It's going to bless him and give him the glory also easily and also naturally. But if you're not connected to him, if you haven't been connected to him, it may not be so easy, right, for the fruit of your lips to be blessing God, giving him thanks and praise. It says, does the spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and salt water? If you are connected to God, when you go to give him praise and thanks, it's going to flow, right? But if you haven't been connected to God, it may take a little while to truly bless and get into that atmosphere. Why? Because the connection has been lost. We need to stay connected in this hour. We have a God who's about to bless us with his mighty presence. And if he's going to do that and he's going to bless us because he's a righteous God and he's a good God and he's a just God, we need to give him the glory, the thanks due to his righteousness. We need to give him the praise, right? Connect with the Lord. Let the fruit of your lips just spill forth the praise of God. Connect to him, right? Let the let the words that come out of your mouth flow from the spirit of God. The spirit is going to lead you into all truth. The spirit of truth is going to tell you, hey, praise him like this. Do it like this, right? It's going to be a genuine love and flow, but you're going to be led by the spirit of God. Amen. So as you approach his throne, as you have your needs, God says, hey, come to me with your needs. I, he's He's right there. He's ready to give you mercy and he's ready to to give you what you need. But we do need to approach him with thanks. Why? Because it's due. It's due to him, right? It's due to his righteousness. And, it's, and we also need to sing a Praise to him. Sing praise to our Lord as you come before his throne. Amen. Get connected to God. Stay connected to God. Let that flow come from your overflow. Let that flow just flow naturally because you've been in the presence of God. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. You are due praise, God. You are due uh, the thanks. You are due so much goodness because you are so good to us. Every good thing flows from you to us. We say thank you. We give you all the praise, all the glory. It belongs to you, our mighty Father. Forgive us for all of our sins and help us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. Um, One of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, And don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, take care and be blessed.